Welcome to the Engineering Update. I'm digital editor Jason Lumberg, and in this week's episode, a hypersonic glide vehicle, a shocking new fitness band, and a warp speed supercomputer. The Pentagon recently announced that China has successfully tested a hypersonic glide vehicle which can evade U.S. missile defense systems and deliver nuclear warheads before we have time to react. The missile delivery system, codenamed the WU-14, was spotted over China on January 9th, and while its precise speed is unknown, the vehicle is classified as hypersonic, which means it's at least Mach 5. Potentially, this places it somewhere between Mach 5 and 10, or 3,840 miles per hour to 7,680 miles per hour. The RT network confirms that the WU-14 would act as a final stage of China's intercontinental ballistic missile system, capable of precise targeting, quick dispersal of weapons, and with the ability to evade enemy missiles, space, and defense systems. This could coincide with early reports, which suggest that China's emerging hypersonic flight vehicle programs could acquire and pursue its target from 6 to 2 miles above sea level, which comprises the Kármán Line, or the International Boundary for Space. Such a vehicle could potentially reach Mach 12 for up to 9,000 miles per hour, which would enable it to evade U.S. missile defense systems. ECN will closely monitor this development and provide more details as they emerge. There are a lot of different options for keeping yourself on track when it comes to fitness goals. There's the traditional workout buddy, a pedometer, or soon even the Apple Watch. There is, however, a newer, slightly more intense option now available called the Pavlock. The device is a fitness tracker by design, but comes with a more intense form of punishment if you slip up. When you buy the device, you download a companion app and log in what habits you'd like to change about yourself. According to the company, it can be anything from wasting time on Facebook to hitting snooze, or more health-based concerns like eating fast food or sitting for too long. The Pavlock is then worn either as a wristband or attached to the body via adhesives. If you exhibit the habits you're looking to kick, the device will chastise you in the form of a loud beep or a vibration. If you're feeling particularly hardcore, you can also have the device shock you. Just in case you aren't deterred from sleeping in by a quiet beep or slight vibration, this device will make sure your corrupt ways come to a shocking end. <laughs> Puns. In case that's not enough, the device is not afraid to shame you on Facebook. The company claims it will increase your chance of being successful in your pursuit of health by up to 80%. The wearable is capable of functioning as a pedometer, accelerometer, or sleep tracker. It's an Indiegogo campaign right now, and you can score one for just $129 with a final retail of $149. The item is expected to ship in April of next year. When you hear warp speed, this probably comes to mind. Warp drive, Mr. Scott. Warp speed computing, however, all depends on the mind-bending physics and ultra-cold temperatures, but quantum computing could bring about a new era in processing power that promises to revolutionize everything from artificial intelligence to high finance. Google could be the founding father for this new era of warp computing speed. In a traditional computer, circuits are either on or off and use binary code of ones and zeros for solving problems. A quantum computer uses quantum bits and has circuits which exist in all possible states at the same time. A 1, a 0, and everything in between. This ability to exist in various states greatly increases the processing power of quantum machines. While the science behind quantum computing seems very technical, broken down in the simplest terms, it amounts to a computer which could operate at breakneck speed in comparison to a traditional computer that uses a binary system and will be especially useful for solving what are known as optimization problems, finding the best solution among huge numbers of possible options. One of the biggest challenges so far for the mighty quantum machine has been environmental interference. The machine can only operate at an incredibly low temperature just above absolute zero, or around negative 273 degrees. The chip has to have exactly the right temperature. It has to be shielded. So a big part of it is building that complex environment. A huge amount of research and billions of dollars are being poured into building it. But Google's confidence in creating super fast quantum computing is strong. The challenge has been seen as a positive not just for Google, but for all of us. Quantum computing will be another tool to help solve very challenging and difficult problems in the near future. That's all for this week's video. Be sure to check in on Facebook and Twitter and catch past episodes on ecnmag.com. For the ECN channel, I'm Jason Lumberg, and thanks for watching.